Pixel Nerds, I am Wildfire One. I'm here with my buddy, my pal, my the amazing Grizzly McBee over there. What is up, bro? And this is Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This the is a podcast. <laughs> this is episode 164, I believe. Of season nine. Season nine. And uh we we're discussing on what we should talk about. Today was uh, currently today is, uh, as we're recording this, this is the 29th mm-hmm. of January. January. And, uh, just so you guys know, the, the trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire came out today. One of the, the new trailer, the new ish trailer for now. The, the second trailer for the new Ghostbusters. And that's one thing we're going to discuss. We're also going to discuss one of our, a game that I got Grizz into. Well, let's get right into it. Ghostbusters, at the Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, sequel, Frozen Empire. Uh, I got to watch it today. In fact, someone, <laughs> our buddy Clovis, posted it on our Discord, and um, I watched it today. And I'm a huge Ghostbuster fan. You guys probably see some of my stuff back there. Um, Heads up, tall, dark, and horny. Twelve o'clock. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. The this this trailer it's this so much trailer better than any other trailer that they've put out for the the last movie or this one but it says so much it does it really it, does. It, there's so many things that you see that that are happening in this um the first trailer was like okay this is what's going to happen it's like a go- the cold ghosts and in all this stuff and and things are freezing over and in this one you get to see Walter Peck is back you get to see, and it looks like he's in a mayor of yeah, New he's, York. He's like in a position of power. It looks like he's in the same fucking office that the mayor was in, right? Yeah, I I, I just think that it's freaking hilarious. Cause, so in the trailer, he goes after you know was it like forty years or whatever, the Ghostbusters are finally done. Um, no, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to veto that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you say? He goes, he goes, uh, objection or whatever. Overruled. Overruled. Overruled, yeah. And then the kid in the background, huh? sustained. Sustained. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Fucking you. great. You get to see, you get to see that Peck is back and the actor that played Peck is just a, an amazing actor. Uh, you get to see Janine in an actual Ghostbusters uniform. She's an yeah. actual Ghostbuster, not just the fucking receptionist. At least that's what it's showing us. We, I, I could be jumping the gun on this, but it. I was dying laughing when she goes, Ghostbusters. What do you want? Yes, <laughs> it's that's like her thing now, you know, Ghostbusters. What do you want? And just Jesus Christ. And then of course, of course, like you have all the all the old actors back from the the from uh, Afterlife. Mm-hmm. And oh Jesus, it's just there's so much potential here. You got Dan Aykroyd back. You got. Bill Murray, who I'm surprised came back to the project after um, after the last movie. I thought that was going to be his farewell to Ramus, and that was it. He opened the door, and the first thing he says is, surprised to see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the story, the premise seems cool. Uh, there's a bunch There's a bunch of good, a bunch of new actors coming in. Mm-hmm. I want to see how, how well it's going to do. Because those of us that have watched Ghostbusters since we were kids, you know, grew up with it. I thought the last movie was fucking amazing. Oh, it was it was everything we needed. You know, it and was... I want to see how they're going to top it. Yeah. I wanna oh dude. And just from the advertise just from the trailers alone, it looks like they're going to. Yeah. Like I, I was excited from the trailers from the last from Afterlife like how they kind of set that up. But this one, um, at first I was like, okay, it's got potential for the first trailer for, for frozen empire. I was like, okay, it's got potential. This might be good. And then this one dropped, this one dropped today. Mm -hmm. And my mind blew just that. That was it. I'm, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to dress up as a motherfucking ghostbuster. I'm going to go to that damn, that, uh, the premiere. I'm going to watch that shit and we're going to do a review. It's going to be great. Yes, we are. Finally, a good movie. Finally. (laughs) Finally. Well, we we you know, our last podcast we talked about uh, quite a few movies that are coming out, mm-hmm. and and it, it, some of them seem good, and then a lot of those on the list were just like, what? Yeah, yeah, they made no sense, and 
I've heard nothing about them. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. sound like one of them young, of those old men. You young whippersnappers making shitty movies. <laughs> but uh, so we'll go on to the next topic, which we're gonna talk about Project Zomboid. I got it's a and it's a it's a game on Steam that I got Grizz into. Uh, I think I originally got introduced to it by um, Ghostly Killer. He explained to me, and I really I didn't get to play it that much at the time. Uh, so I really didn't get to get into it. And then I, I, I got back into it and started learning the, the ropes and, and playing it and just having a good time. And then I told Grizz, I said, you know what? We need to do a zombie game. I said, it's a, here's so a good one. We hadn't done one in a while, which is just a straight like survival zombie game. Yeah. And that is literally Project Zomboid. It's an, it's a top view game. It's kind of, um, it's kind of pixelated. gets kind of like old school it's, graphics, but it's also very fun. Kind of sim style. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. And uh, to, why don't you explain your first experience with this game, Grizz? Because I know that there's, there's, I know you had a little bit of a hard time and I, I want, I want them to know. No, from... I, 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 I did. I, I had a bit of a hard time. Um, so when, when you play the multiplayer, when you first spawn into the world, you don't spawn with the person you're multiplaying with. Gotta uh, find each other. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that you're in the same area because there's like, what, like four different regions that you can spawn into. But if you choose the same region, you'll just spawn in a different part of that town. Yeah. So I spawned in about four blocks from where Wild spawned in. And in those four blocks, I died five times five before times. I got there. Five times. And then as soon as I found Wild, where I could finally see him on my screen, I died again. Well, we, we had it set up to where we could make a home base. And I was yeah. like, oh, this is kind of a cool house. We can, we can, it's, it's empty. We can, we can build stuff and make stuff here. And I made it to home base. And Grizz is like, God, there's like 30 of them on me. And he, he brings a whole horde of these motherfuckers right into the house. And they just take over. <laughs> I'm like, okay, you're on your own. And then he dies in the house. <laughs> Because he gets he gets he gets mauled, and then finally we find each other again, right? Yep. And this is about this time you're about you're kind of more used to the game. You're more kind of understanding how to survive, how to how to loot things, how to yeah. pick things up, how to make things. You're figuring it out. Yeah. And and finally we you go we get we you're doing something and I'm doing something else. I'm like checking this house out for food and you're checking so, it for something so, else. The way directions work in this game for some people. Some people. Um, it, it's kind of angled map. So, yeah. you know, I go up is north, down is south, left is west, right is east. Um, but, but some people see the map and go, oh, so the street goes like this. Okay, so this is west. <laughs> like, no, it's fucking north. I don't know how many times I had to explain to you, and you're like, okay. And I'm like, what? so we started we started explaining to each other, like, okay, do you see that house that looks like an L? Do you see that house that looks like an I? So, we're both at our home base. And I say, okay, I'm going to go straight south and go to the house that looks like a backwards seven. He goes, oh, okay. So he heads west. And goes to a house that looks like a seven. <laughs> so I go south. Look, bitch, I'm dyslexic, okay? It's like a backward seven. I go in the house, and I'm like, oh, dude, there's so much stuff here. I clear out the bottom floor. <laughs> I go upstairs and immediately get bit by a zombie. You got mauled, didn't you? There's like 30 of them up there. Yeah, yeah, but the, the first one bit me. And I just run out. And I'm like, dude, where the hell are you? He goes, dude, I'm in the house. I'm upstairs. There's nothing here. I was like, you're in the wrong fucking house. I'm like, so I'm like, obviously. And he's so he's so he bandages in the game. You can bandage and, and fix your fix your wounds and stuff. So he bandages his wound, and he and it doesn't get better. He's infected. So what happens is you slowly lose your life. Like it's depending on how what your settings are. And so at one point he's like towards the end of his character's life and he goes, I don't think I'm going to make it. I think I'm fucked. Oh yeah. It says fatally fa fa fatal wound. I'm like fatal infection. So I tell him, I tell him, why don't you go to the house 
that you uh that you got infected in and just do one final hoorah and i'm like i'm expecting he drops everything in our little the house that we were staying at and i'm expecting him to go in there and just do this like epic thing <laughs> so so with corners because it's it's somewhat top down with corners it's dark until you get around that corner so as soon as I rounded the stairs to head back upstairs where all the zombies were, I just get bitch slapped and killed. <laughs> it like <laughs> looks at him and like farts at his ass and he just, oh God. So he makes another character and that's the character we're on now, I think. I don't yeah. think this one died. Um, and we we did okay. We did all right at this point. We're At this point, we're just trying to find food and um, medicine and medicine and some other stuff, which sucks because after your character got infected, just right north of us the, right across the street from our home base like north of us the one building we did not check in that whole like mile square mile fucking neighborhood was a goddamn clinic was with nothing but fucking medicine was the clinic with with all the disinfectant we needed all the fuck all the stuff we needed the antibiotics everything that could have saved my life just bad bad luck man we ended up doing like two different trips to that place yeah. just to clear everything out. Now we're trying to figure out how to build more storage because every inch of storage in this house is filled with nothing but tools and medical supplies. And food. And food. And, and, and Okay, for the kitchen, it's nothing but food. Yeah. Like, the fridge is completely full. All the cabinets are completely full. I think we pulled out all of the cookware and shit just to put in, like baked beans yeah and yeah and corn and i've experimented recently with cooking in that game on single player mm -hmm. and it's somewhat easy um it's actually really easy you just watch a bar that goes up and if it goes up too far it's burnt then you can use you can cook like ramen it's got all sorts of different food you can make steaks and mac and cheese and all this other stuff sure. one of the first things that you want to get in that care and that as your for, as your character is a can opener yeah and you know, I've I've seen reviews for it where it says that can openers are super hard to find. I think at one point in time, between Wild and myself, we had about twelve can openers. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I kind of made it easier to find this stuff. I in the in the settings. I know. I know. Because fuck that. Like I'm I don't want to sit sit there and starve to death because I can't find a goddamn can opener. Yeah. Well, like we went into one house and like every drawer or cabinet we looked in, there was, there was a, a can, can opener. <laughs> Um, no food, but can open. Yeah, and then we found. I I think we're looking for right now. We're looking for a generator, and I think a car. We're looking to get a car. Yeah, because the map is well, huge. I I know where there's a generator. It's oh yeah, just finding just finding the fuel, and I think it was a hose, and then a car that isn't completely burnt to the fucking ground yeah and just destroyed because every car we got is either every car we found is either has no gas or broken or something we so we got to find a gas station in the game apparently we could totally take that ambulance though because that ambulance is in good oh yeah i was gonna well we got to find the key for it um i was gonna tell you that there's a mod for it that uh that my buddy uh jesse valentine f777 told me about and then and then J Mac came to me about later uh, there's a mod that we can get a RV. Oh, that'd be cool. Right? Oh, you, you have to be Jesse. I'll be Walter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just cook up meth. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some really cool, like, I, I think that would be cool. Like being able to live out of a RV and then go from place to place in game. That would be cool. Uh, problem is, is of course we get swarmed. We lose the yeah. RV. We'd have to find a way to get back to it. But yeah. that's the problem with zombie apocalypse. That's a pro just the problem with the that's a, that's the problem with the times in the game. Yeah. Um, what would you say are things that you like about the game thus far? I like the the scavenging part because I mean you know me I like the the super survival games where you have to you know work with what you find. Yeah. Not necessarily like you know cutting down trees and chopping up rocks and shit. Although those games are fun. Yeah. We've played plenty of those. Uh, well, yeah. And we have plans to play even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I like that 
super survivalistic type game like that. One uh, of the where you got to go and loot, find things, and use what you find to survive. One of the things I like about the zombie apocalypse storyline is that it seems like you go into a house and there's a story. You know what I mean? Like yeah. There's, there's how that person used to live and all this other stuff. Um, you, like you'll go into some houses and you'll go into like the, uh, the bedrooms and you'll see like ladies under garments and, and you'll see like bras and stuff. And, and, uh, and then you go into a, another room and it's like definitely a dude's room. Cause there's like a computer, a TV, yeah. comic books, um, adventure novels. And, and that's, so that's another guys. thing. And that's another thing. You have to read. You have to read. You can read books to learn how to build things, and also on top of that, say you your character gets too bored, he gets depressed, and that that mm-hmm. affects your your uh, your gameplay. So you have the to read books. Survival. Yeah. yeah, you have to read books. You have to read like work crossword puzzles. You have to you know. And at first, when newspapers. when the newspapers, and at first when the the zombie apocalypse is new, you can still watch television and listen to the radio. A little mm-hmm. after after a certain amount of days, the radio and television stopped kind of working. But you can find yeah. movies and and yes. CDs. You can you can find uh, VHSs and uh, CDs. Yeah, and that helps too. Uh, and some of the VHSs and CDs are named funny. Like they have some pretty fucking funny names. Yeah. Um, and I, I like the learning aspect. I haven't got to build much yet. I don't think we built anything yet. No, we we. we haven't been able to build any we haven't unlocked anything to be able to build yet uh one thing that i like about the the reading is like to be able to learn certain things like um like medicine one right yeah it's a 330 page book which you know in game takes like 15 minutes to read yeah you have to sit and then you can stop and it'll keep you on that page it'll keep you on that page so you don't have to start from the beginning all over again like say, like the only time that we would read is, you know, at night because we don't don't want to be out at night because you can't see shit. Yeah, unless you have a flashlight or what have you. Yeah, so we stay inside at night. Um, I like the fact that you have to shower and clean yourself and Keep, clean your clothes. Yep. So that you don't get infected. You can uh, clean the rags after after they're on you that uh, that, mm-hmm. that are bandaging your your wounds. And you got to clean those. And if you put them on, you end up getting worse if if they're you not clean. You can disinfect them mm-hmm. with disinfectant to help with your wounds. Yep. Um, what well, we found the antibiotics. We found antidepressants in yeah. that clinic. Sleeping pills. So, yeah, sleeping pills to help you sleep. Um, what was the other one? Um, it was like uh, one. That like helps you with food poisoning if you wind up getting yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. Sick um, with food poisoning. Uppers, downers, what have you. I'm sure there's yeah. there's alcohol in the game. There's a bunch there of stuff. Is. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure you can make things. I'm sure you can make molotovs or something like that. I I haven't gotten into the game to the point where I can build. We haven't built anything. So. Yeah, we we've just been surviving. Which I mean, uh, once we get to a certain part, we're gonna have to focus on building because after a while the water and power shuts off yeah i don't know if i i think i told you that right Mm -hmm. yeah which is one of the reasons i'm like let's get a a generator we're gonna need that yeah so we gotta find we're gonna have to find a uh what's that called a gas station station and we're gonna need a car and we're gonna need some other stuff batteries Um, yeah and that, one of the things I like is the sca- like you said, the scavenging. Like <laughs> you'll go one direction, I'll go the other, and we'll both have two different two different um okay. experiences and two just yeah. yeah. I'll pick up food and you'll get you'll get like tools or something like that. Tools and supplies, yeah. And like you said, we found that uh the clinic and it took like maybe three two to three trips to get everything back. Yeah, it took two trips with us having nothing in our inventory when we got there and leaving with full and then we went back and just cleaned up the rest of it, which was like the rubber gloves, the surgical gowns. Um, I picked up some surgical caps. Oh yeah. Uh, we got all the syringes and everything. And not to mention the, 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 the place next door to it was, is a, uh, like a quickie mart kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which, which is fucking perfect. It's like a store, like a grocery store, a quickie mart mm-hmm. kind of thing. And and so we haven't, I don't think we looted that yet, but we were talking no, about going back. all the zombies that were right there. Because at first, 
when we saw it, they were all around the clinic. Yeah. So we just ran the opposite way. Well, then when we went back, because we, we were planning on just killing everything and finding out what was in there. Because you couldn't even see the sign until you get right up to the door. And it's like, ooh, clinic. We're like, oh, fuck. I couldn't have done I, Yeah. Have from we could have survived. You could have saved your character. Which, by the way, both our characters have mullets. Yes. I feel, I, I feel that I should should put that out there. Um, My character is a firefighter. And yours is a... Security card, baby! So, uh, but wait, what was it? Uh, what was our last names? It was something funny. Oh, I, I don't remember. Yeah, that's that's okay. Uh, because I made the character, and you're like... You know what? I'm a, we're gonna be brothers. I'm like that's ah, fucking fine. <laughs> Might as well. We'll roll with it. But the game itself is really fun. You know what? What I'd like to see is if oh, we could cockhold. Was that what it was? I think so. Hmm. Okay. And cock. Because I, 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 I remember um, my first name was Richard. And you're like Dick Cockhold. Dick Cockhold. <laughs> yeah. So you know one of the things I think that they they could better in that would be. Um, like make the game better would be as if you can, and they might, this might be a thing. I just haven't seen it yet because we haven't gotten to that part of the game. Uh, but I'd like to be able to reinforce doors yeah, and windows, and windows and stuff like that. Um, that way, that way, cause the, when a zombie sees you, the first thing they do is they start banging on something. And after a while they break it mm-hmm. after a while. Um, so you'll hear them on the window, banging on the window. After a while, you hear the window break, and then when that window's broken, you can you can fix it, you can replace it, but you got to know how to do it. Uh, but if you, I like the idea of of reinforcing them that way. There's no, it's a little yeah, harder for them to, yeah. yeah, it's no hard, a little harder for them to do that. And heaven forbid, one of them hears us in there, or we make too much noise, and one sees us, we got to go out and take care of it, and then maybe lead lead the whatever. If there's a lot of them, lead them away. But uh, I, I kind of, you know, it reminds me a little bit of like, it's a, it's like a taste of The Walking Dead, or like yeah. what what a real life zombie apocalypse would feel like, um, without the best part, in my opinion. Well, the best part, in my opinion, is the zombies, but the yeah. best part is that it's without the other like human touch, because I think that what zombie movies and games go bad is that they bring in other humans. And next thing you know, yeah. the zombies aren't as scary anymore. They corrupt everything. Yeah. yeah. So I think that that just kind of ruins that aspect. But that's just me. Mm-hmm. You know, you know um, I also like, I mean, the fact that the fact that you're playing with someone in that game is fun too. And I, th- I forget how many people you can have in at a time. I know I played it, Fandom played it, uh, uh, Ghostly Killer and his brother played it together, all of us. Have, I think you can have four at a time. Okay, I know we. I had four at one point. Um trying to talk fandom into getting it again or downloading it to play with us. I know that Jade, I'm trying to talk G, our buddy Jade into playing it. Um, mm-hmm. She hasn't bought it yet, but she's been, she's been busy. So that's okay. Uh, but there's yeah, a bunch of people we can play today with. about uh, getting pal world. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh God. That, to play with that. That's a future podcast right there is pal world. Yeah. Uh, uh, Grizzly. I got to thank him. He, he gifted it to me uh the other day and because we were just we we're talking about it on on our server on our discord server uh in our crew chat and uh i was like i haven't got it yet but i'm gonna get it when i get paid and grizzly's like hey i want you to do something uh, get on get on voice chat with me for a second i want you to hear something and the next thing i know bling you give giving gifted cow world i'm like you fucker and then i was i, I was gonna play it that night i was gonna I, I did i played it for like three minutes but i was so tired i just i was like fuck i gotta go to bed and I haven't got to play it yet, but you know how everyone says it. I get and I get where they're coming from. It says they say that it's supposed to be like like Pokemon, and we'll get in depth of this more in the pot the podcast one after I play it. But you know what? It reminded me more of when I played it for the first three minutes. Arc. I could see Arc too, but it reminded me of of uh, Breath of the Wild. It reminded me of of the Zelda games. Because the first thing oh. I I did is I walked out and there's a person sitting next to a fire pit. Yeah. A, a pot. I, I, I can see that um, with the kind of like the 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 animations of like the scenery and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Gameplay itself is more like arc. 
Okay. Well, you know, we we played. You and I got to play Ark uh, mm-hmm. a little bit. We didn't play it as much as we wanted to because certain people spoiled it for us. But we're not gonna. Yeah. We kind of got into it, and it the Ark was one of those games that like it took us a while to get into and kind of figure shit out. Mm-hmm. But when we did, kind of like Conan Exiles, yeah. once we got into that, it was uh, once we figured it out, we were we were on top of it. Um, no, we were playing that game like twelve hours a day. Oh yeah, every fucking day. <laughs> Addicted. Which one? Both of them actually. Conan Exiles yeah. and and Ark for a little and bit. Arc. Yeah. Um, but those games, yeah, it's those style of games that just kind of like, kind of call to us, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's just something about about a uh, a zombie game that I've always loved. Mm-hmm. That I, I just like the story and everything, and so you guys can probably expect. You know, maybe not the gameplay we just we just talked about, but you can just probably expect some gameplay in the near future from us uh, playing Project Zomboid and maybe doing kind of like this thing. Maybe we'll role play during it. Maybe we'll play our characters and and do a thing like uh, what's that? What I what I what I tell you when I when I pitch the idea to you, uh, kind of like a Walking Dead kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when you die, you die. You yeah, know? like the the ultimate hardcore. Style. Yeah, yeah. So. That's something that maybe we'll, we're thinking about doing with that, and that, I think it'd be fun. You know, maybe get well. Get... You know, definitely, definitely. Just expect me to be in the about five minutes into the video. <laughs> well, no, it just makes you want to be more careful. You know what I mean? Like, uh, say, let's let's let me give you a hypothetical. Me, you, uh, we'll say uh, fandom, and then Jade. and Jade or whoever else will, whoever else we choose to join us. You know, whoever dies dies, which will suck in it, but. But I mean that sucks, and I mean, what if I die? Yeah, that would suck. That would suck because the whole thing is over with. We just have to change perspective. Uh, yeah, one of you guys, uh, you'll have to stream, you know. <laughs> um, but we'll fi- we'll figure it out. But there's there's I want to do something like that, kind of like a hardcore uh, survival mode, us getting into our characters mm-hmm. and, and learning, and maybe even seeing how far we can go. The whole premise is all. Uh, Project Zomboid, and I think I, this should be said if it hasn't been said already. The whole premise is you're going to die. Yeah. Eventually, it, you're going to die. It, it's inevitable. Yeah. It's, Whether there's... a zombie kills you or you die of infection. Yeah. Or, or bleeding out or, or starvation. You, can, you or... can cut yourself on broken glass from the windshield windows and stuff, and, and that'll act you get, get infected. Get infected and, yeah. and bleed if out. You don't bandage up immediately, you will bleed out. Yeah. Yes. You learn that real quick. Yeah, um, playing games like, you know, from past games like The Forest and The Sons yeah. of the Forest and uh, Green Hell and stuff like that. Games. Well, like- I mean, those of you that have that have watched those gameplays, I mean, you, you know that we like the building. If you watched our our games of the forest, we built you know Castle de Grizz. We built a fucking castle, man. And then. Uh, those of you that have watched the streams for Sons of the Forest, you realize that we've built our own fucking village. Oh yeah, you know, with with places to eat and everything, and we even we even made Monster a little place to stay. We did. We and, we built him his own um, room right next to the outhouse. <laughs> um, we we have a wizard tower. Yeah. Yeah. We have a few like lookout towers to kill things, and and we have mm-hmm. we have a, we have an electric fence, mm-hmm. which is hilarious. We have an electric fence. The game, the, that game, that's another game we can probably eventually do. So we're well, I mean, there's no probably we are doing gameplay on it eventually, and yeah, um, we're just kind of waiting for it to update and catch its stride before we do anything like that. But that's that's another game that we really kind of got into. That's that's probably one of the first games you bought when you got your PC. Oh, uh, that was the first game that I bought was uh, Sons of the Forest and Diablo Four. See, I I got to get Diablo Four. I still haven't played it. Yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, I think that's about it for this podcast. Tell us what you think. If you guys want us to talk about a game or or anything else like that, or maybe a review, uh, let us know in the comments. If you, if you do want to call that, oh, number. here we go. That number is 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. If you got any ideas for the podcast, let us know. Give us a ring. Let us know about your favorite games, your favorite movies, anything you want us to try when it comes to Edibibbles. Edibibbles? 
<laughs> any and snacks you know we do snack reviews even though we're i'm kind of call I'm, I'm i'm kind of taking a break from the snack reviews for now yeah uh, but you know there's there if you know if you guys know something out there that that might be good and want our want our opinion on it let us know <laughs> and i'll give you a bit of a teaser now i know it has been a year and a half two years in the making but monster and i now have solidified what our challenge is going to be oh yeah yeah we talked about we we all talked about that what a few weeks ago and we will be doing the naruto ramen challenge fuck there's a yes there's a place in the town that that wild lives hour and a half from my place so i'll be driving out there meeting up with the guys and monster and i will be doing the naruto ramen challenge though though the, the the three of us have eaten there before. I've eaten there with yeah. you. I've eaten there yeah. with Monster. We've and, eaten there together, and, all three of us. And uh, and the food there is amazing. So mm-hmm. uh, the only the only problem with that particular challenge is I'm worried it's going to get expensive for one of you guys. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, ramen. The ramen isn't as expensive more as the sushi. The sushi is what'll kill you. But the yeah. sushi is delicious. Everything is delicious. Oh, it is very delicious. But uh, there you go. There's your teaser for the the next challenge coming up. Uh, I guess we'll end the podcast, guys. We thank you for sticking with us. We'll see you next time. Till then, stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always. Always.